Hello guys, welcome back to JJ's podcast. For tonight's topic, as I said last week, I am going to read a story from one of my followers and I already choose one. This one is from Princess Green Gallery, so here we go. It was a cold Friday. Me and my friends walked around the park of giant studs. There were giant studs too. I took off my shoes and let my feet kiss the grass. We stopped at the lotus pond. My friend took a couple of my poses from her camera. I smile. I laugh. I cry. Yeah, but about an hour before my class, my first class in high school, impressed his love to his class, asked her to be his girlfriend. And the worst part is the girlfriend is one of my best friends. I stood in the center of the park. I stared at the sky, throw my shirt away. As the sky changed its color, my feeling got better. Now the sun was hiding behind the moon. Stars showed their shine. They were dancing with the dark. Wind was swirling among the trees. The cold tickled my bare feet. At that time, the tour guide asked us to sit down. There was a bar performance, a dance performance. I was not too interested at first. I have watched the dance a couple times. At that time, I felt like I hadn't thrown all my sorrow away. I looked around at my friends. I didn't see this new couple. I was curious why he why why he couldn't see me. I was into him for three years straight. I took the same subject as him. I like his music taste, which sounds ridiculous to my ears. Even I take the same piano course at his aunt's place. I brought him present for his birthday, chocolate on Valentine's. Oh, it was a secret. Shh. Do you look at that woman? She's gorgeous. My friends pointed to the dancer who was wearing pink costumes. Finally, I watched the performance. I know my friends didn't want me to drown too deep in the sheriff's lake. Ten minutes fly by. My friends started recording the performance. Well, my eyes couldn't stop staring at the dancer in the front of me. He's there, standing in the ocean of people. He was dancing beautifully. His tanned skin looked so sweet as a Cadbury bar. When he smiled, there were two dimples. By his heavenly smile on his face, my sorrow was taken down. The performance ended too fast. I regret not watching it properly. As the audience scattered, I grabbed my friend's hand to catch the dancer crew. He walked out of the crowd. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? May I take a photo with you? I ran as fast as I, I could. I screamed as loud as I could. The old man who walked with him stopped. He grabbed the charming dancer hand too. Uh... May I have your Instagram account? I want to tag you if I posted this photo. The old man laughed. Mine or his? I gave my phone to the sweet, charming guy. He typed something on my phone and gave it to me with the screen locket. He smiled at me and those two dimples seemed like saying goodbye to at the homestay room, I sent him a message. I said he was the most charming dancer. He replied by saying thanks and told him if I came back again. The chat is still going on till now. By the text, I know that he is my age. Mm. I came back a year later. I was accepted to the university there. And him, the most... Charming man I have ever seen still remember me. He took me to the beautiful beach every month. Bring me a present when it's my birthday. And the most important, <laughs> his music tastes the best. Even my ex cross couldn't compare him. What a relief, Princess Green Galler. I wish you 
and him happily ever after. For next week, as usual, I bring up bad M stories again, but what if I make it spooky this time? Write on your comment, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.